What's going on YouTube? Falcon here, playing Pokemon Sword, ready to do some more ranked battles. Uh, we're sticking with the doubles, we're sticking with more or less the same team. We made one change uh, to what we usually carry. And uh, let's see how, how we can do today and see if we can climb back up that, uh, that ladder to Master Ball rank. So I'm going to go to the main menu here and update. Last time we finished at 8,700 and I know that rank had to have dropped. There's no doubt about it. I just want to see how, how bad it did. Uh, maybe maybe we didn't drop that badly. Maybe we dropped a lot. So it's been, what, about two days now. So we dropped a lot uh, for what I can see. We dropped like 800 slots. But what are we going to do? I, you know, we, I was too busy yesterday to record. So I couldn't uh, in no way uh, record and, and battle and, you know, help our rank, if you will. So we have no choice. You know, we have to... Well, you gotta work, gotta work. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're here now, so let's do a, a double battle. Like I said, uh, we're keeping the same team, um, which I'll show you here in a minute. I think I only made one change. Oh, I dropped us again, really, come on now. Okay, so the only main change I added was that Mammoth Swine at the very bottom with, uh, with the leftovers. I, I wanted to give him a shot. I hadn't been using uh, Rillaboom too much. I hope I don't regret leaving him out. Um, we don't have any grass moves at all, so anybody that's weak to, to just grass, like a Gastrodon or a Swampert, could really could really hammer us pretty badly because I, I, I'm just not carrying their weakness. Um, I don't like to do that, but in this particular case, I wanted to just give it a shot and see how well we do here um, and see if we can do a little bit better uh, with this team, even though we did go 2 and one last time. so can't complain you know I mean you're still up you know one extra win but you know if we can do better why not you know so we're gonna give it a shot but, uh, I hope you guys are doing great today thank you so much for tuning in uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh, give me give me some uh, comments you know let me know how I'm doing how you feel I'm doing uh, if you like the content if you would like for me to do uh, another game or, or something different man just let me know uh, you know I, I'll try to appease you guys as much as I can the very few people that I have trust me I really appreciate you I really do so thank you very much every time you give me a view um, or even or even message me on the side like it means a lot to know that you guys are, are watching and, and tuning in to to my videos it really does so thank you again very much for that so it looks like uh, we're going to go against a Lapras team here. Um, kind of looks like they would be Dynamax in that Lapras right away. So I kind of feel like carrying um, uh, Lapras' weakness. Um, though I do see that Ferramosa that's kind of a threat there. So I have to hit that and I have to hit Lapras. Because I'm pretty sure Lapras is coming out first. This, this is an interesting battle here. A lot of these guys we, we don't typically go against. I've told you guys how that works. You know, whenever you battle somebody and they're using people that they don't typically use or you don't typically see in the format, it, it's, it's, it's tricky. It gets a little harder. We're going to go with Nihilego right from the get-go. And then we're going to go with the Chandelure. Um, we're also going to go with... Uh, I'm thinking, does Mammoth Swine do good here? Let's go with Mammoth Swine and let's go with Tornadus or Zapdos. Woo, buddy, that's a tough one. Let's go with Zapdos. Hope I don't regret that. <laughs> they don't really have a, well, except for Lycanroc, he's a, he's a, he's a, a Zapdos weakness. So that would suck if we ever get matched up with him. But. Let's hope not. Let's hope that uh, he didn't bring him in. And if so, maybe we can take him out with somebody else instead. So, you know, Mammoth Swine is there with the uh, Ice Shard. So he can outspeed the guy. And that, that'll help. So Urshifu and Furumosa come out. Um, okay. Okay. Interesting here. Inter interesting to see. So I kind of have a feeling that... Um, 
they're gonna go after Nihilego, so I kind of feel like uh, protecting. And then I'm gonna go Burning Jealousy to just get some damage on him. Uh, Feramosa, without a doubt, is sashed. So if I can get some damage on her right now, probably be a lot better. And so in the next hit after that, I can take her out. But I don't think they go after Chandelure here. Um, I really, really don't see that. Regardless, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go with the Burning Jealousy. Feramosa is going to go first. They Dynamax him. Who are they Dynamaxing? Urshifu? It makes no sense to do Feramosa. There it is. Yeah, Urshifu. Yeah. Probably going for what I'm assuming is a Max Darkness. I would think. I didn't think he was going to Dynamax this turn, really. Um, but either way, I doubt he knocks out Nihilego with whatever he does. So, Triple Axel. Blocked. Get out of here. And then, one blow. That's going for... Chandelure, of course. Well, that's okay. We survive it thanks to our Focus Sash, and then we're gonna put some damage on these folks. And, uh, yeah, figured Feramosa was, uh, Sash, but that's okay. We expected that. We knew that was gonna happen. And so now, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swap over to, I'm thinking Mamoswine. And then Chandelure, I'm just going to leave him out there and just uh, hit hit him with another Burning Jealousy. I'm going to make that Urshifu go after me. Unless Feramosa goes after me, then, then we're going to be in some trouble there. But I, I don't like that Urshifu matchup with Mamoswine because uh, obviously he's weak to fighting. And then he's Dynamax, so it doesn't look very good. Feramosa, oh wow, I switched right in. Wow. Oh man, that was a bad, bad swap in. Uh, I didn't think he was gonna do that so yeah we're finding ourselves in some bit of trouble here now guys um, yeah I didn't expect that Chandelure goes down so let's see uh, Feramosa so fast so I think I'm gonna end up Dynamaxing my Nihilego because I don't know that I have any other choice yeah Zapdos is, is the scarfed um, I could drill peck with him and uh, you know, maybe I can Dynamax Zapdos and then just protect again with Nihilego. That might be the play here. Yeah, and then that'll give us some speed. Yeah, I might just do Zapdos then. Um, I didn't want to, but I think I have no other choice, especially with what happened. Um, I hate to see that Feramosa right there um, because it's just so fast, but we should be able to outspeed it after this. What I'm scared of is that that Feramosa is going to go for the triple axle on Zapdos and then effectively knock him out. So uh, I'm kind of concerned about that. Uh, but I don't know that I have much of a... I don't know that I have much of a choice. Um, I could just drill pack into Feramosa because I know I'll, I'll, I'll outspeed it. But then, what after that? Hmm. Let's just do it. I'm going to protect again here. Oh, I just feel like that uh, Feramosa is just so fast and strong. It was going to knock out Zapdos regardless. I don't foresee Urshifu going after uh, our Zapdos. Probably going after Neil Lego. And uh, we can potentially Dynamax a Zapdos after this. Oh, he is going after Zapdos. Woo, man. So it's going to be Neil Lego all by his lonesome self. Yeah, it doesn't look like we won this battle. Uh, looks like we're going to lose our first one without a doubt. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a bummer, man. Didn't expect that Urshifu to Dynamax. Uh, uh, people don't typically Dynamax him. Even though he has a lot of potential, he's very strong, he's fast. Um, not a lot of people do. And so that's why I didn't expect it. But, yeah, we're in a bind. Black and Rock. Uh, you know me, guys. I'm not going to give up, but it doesn't look very good right now. Let's see, I can just uh, max ooze over to this slot and then just try to work that way. Even then, I don't even think I can knock that Urshifu out. Maybe I can. Either way, that Lycanroc, uh, unless he's just carrying 
and rock moves. Uh, it's just Nihilego is so weak to on the defense side that yeah, I would really, really need for the following Pokemon to be all special attackers, and then maybe potentially I have a chance. It's all going to depend how all of this goes. But I have to try and get going here. Wicked Blow, massive damage. I look at that. Well, actually, yeah, actually, that's always a yeah. <laughs> you know how that went, guys. We had no, we didn't have a fighting chance on this one, man. That was a bad matchup. Uh, didn't go our way. Urshifu, uh, Dynamaxing right away. Didn't expect that, and uh, actually ended up winning the game for Mr. Wicked Ways over here. So. What can you do? You know, you keep trying, you keep trying, it doesn't work out. But regardless, we're going to try and get a couple more wins um, for this video and I uh, hope it goes well. Uh, whether I win or lose, I'm going to post. It doesn't matter. You know, I'm not going to be that type to not post and like just because I lose. I'm going to post everything, you know, and that's the whole point of being in this Master Ball uh, tier. It's hard, you know, you got this is this is the ranking in the world, okay? The whole world. Everybody that plays Pokemon in the whole world. Do you know how many copies of Pokemon sold uh, this past year ever since it's been out? Millions and millions and millions. So me ranking, even if, even though I dropped 10,000 there, ranking that in the whole world, dude, that to me, that's a that's a huge deal, you know? It, it means a whole lot to me. So, regardless, we're, we're happy where we stand, whether we win or we lose. Obviously, we want to win, uh, but at the same time, it's like, hey, man, you know, I'm going to post the video regardless of, of what happens. Uh, the good times, the bad times. Uh, anywho, enough ranting. Um, looks like Tornadus is on the other side. Um, that doesn't look very well. Um, looks like it's uh, going to be Tornadus. Going to go with the Tailwind, I am sure. And... Uh, So let's go with our own Tornadus. And let's go with Togo Tomaru out for the Mageko. And then. Let's see. Chandelure, I believe, needs to go out there. I don't know that I'm taking the Hilego because I'm scared of Landorus. So I'm either going to go Mamoswine. I gotta go Mamoswine. Yeah. I don't think I had a choice there. I had to go Mamoswine. Because Zapdos didn't feel like he matched up real well uh, with this uh, with this battle. So. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, Pokemon is a lot like, like, uh, like chess, you know. Like uh, a very complex chess. In chess, you only have like, uh, say, I think it's like 20-something pieces or, or different pieces. You know, you got your pawns, you got... Your queen, your knight, uh, your bishops, all that business. Uh, that's not necessarily the case here. Uh, you have literally, there's like 900 Pokemon or some odd number. I can't remember right now. Uh, so yeah, it's very different uh, than what you would typically uh, see in a game of chess. And the, the moves are just as complex, if not far, far more. There's far more combinations, far more things you can do. So many different strategies. So. It's a it's a mind game, really. A lot of people wouldn't see it that way, but it, it really is. So I think we're gonna go over for the paralyze on. Uh, so we're gonna go tailwind, and then we're gonna go for the nuzzle on a uh, little horsey over there on that side, just because he's pretty fast. He hits hard. Uh, not too worried about Celestila. I said that last time we battled him, and <laughs> ended up losing to him. Uh, didn't look like he's Dynamax in this turn for him, so. Uh, he's snarling. Go ahead and snarl away. That's okay, buddy. It's all right. It's all right. I think I'm gonna switch uh, Tornadus out though. Uh, think about it. Unless he goes down, of course. Yeah, because this meteor beam is definitely going after him, um, without a doubt. So that that's he ain't gonna take that very good. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna hurt unless he misses, and he does not miss. So Tornadus, you're out, buddy. Out for the count. But he did set the Tailwind up for us. We did get the Paralyze over on Mr. Horsey over here. And, uh... 
He's boosting. He's getting stronger. That's okay. We ain't worried about him. So I think we're gonna go Chandelure. We're actually gonna Dynamax or Chandelure, and uh, I'm thinking about going for a Max Flare onto that Celestila uh, with uh, Spectre being paralyzed over there. I'm not too too worried about him. Uh, obviously, he's a big threat, uh, but I don't think he knocks out Chandelure with one hit. And uh, I'm gonna go for the Max Flare, and then. Uh, I'm probably going with the Zing Zap on uh, him as well. Or should I go this way? I don't know that we knock out. I don't know that I don't know that we get the knockout. Let's double up into Celesteel. I hope he doesn't protect. If he protects, then it's gonna suck. Uh, but I really hope he doesn't protect. If he doesn't protect Celestela, we're going to hit that flare. Um, and uh, I think we'll get the uh, the knockout for sure. What's it looking like, buddy? What's it looking like? Oh, he's uh, Dynamaxing too. I wonder if he's Dynamaxing Celestela now that he has the plus one on it. I'm pretty sure that's what he's trying to do. And he does. So I'm as long as he doesn't guard, Celesteel is going down, and so that gives us the advantage because we take out his Dynamax out of the equation. We knock out his uh, strong guy out of the way. So if he doesn't guard, and he doesn't, so we're gonna hit him pretty hard, and then we're gonna go for a Max Flare, and then we should pick up the knockout here. Really hope that we do, and we did. I can't see. Let's see. Wow, he survived that. Oh man, we're in trouble, guys. We are in trouble. Yeah, Toby Mar going down. Uh, he's powering up. Celestila. I should have gone for the nozzle. Woo, he's going for Rockfall. Oh man. Are we in trouble again? Oh man, we're going for it, man. Wow. Guys, what's going on here? What's going on? Another loss. I don't believe it. Holy cow, man. Look at that. He's out. Out for the count. I really thought we were going to knock out Celestila if we doubled into him. But, uh... Yeah. Wow. I'm very, uh... Surprised here. Did not think that was going to happen. Obviously. So, yeah. That, uh, that, uh, that is trash. That is very much trash. Man, I'm not going to be able to do much here. Look at that Celestila with one HP, bro. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I I can't believe it. Wow. Oh well. It's a game of luck, you know? You do what you can, you play what you can, you do what you can, and sometimes it doesn't work out your way. So we're gonna take it out finally. Come on, all lake, you know. What are you gonna do about it? So Steeler going down here. Um, still have to see what Mr. Horsey does over here. Shadow ball into us. Don't think don't think he takes us out. He is plus one though. <laughs> oh lord. What are you gonna do? Can't do much about it. So Oh well. We go down 0-2. Uh, let's try and get one more win, guys. What do you want me to do? <laughs> let's try and do one more. See if we get a little bit better luck. But man, this is not the best video today. We're not looking good right now, guys. Dropping lock or rock. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, that was a good battle. I uh, don't know what we could have done different there. I was really hoping to knock out that Celestila, but uh, that Celestila could have easily been assault vested, and um, and that's why I was able to tank those hits for him. But either way, looks like we're going up against a Weezing and a Reggie Gigas combination here. Um, that's going to be pretty sure. That's going to be it. Pretty sure he's going to carry his. Uh, 
Regin Lucky, and then potentially that Cinderace. So we do need the speed advantage here. Um, Reggie guy, I'm pretty sure Reggie guys is coming out. I'm very, very confident Reggie guys is coming out. So that being said, I think we need to go with a Togo tomorrow, or right, from the get go, with a. Mammoth uh, Swine? No. He's gonna go first. So maybe. Hmm. Let's throw out there near Lego. Why not? Or maybe we can set up our speed with Tornadas. And then the Hilego. And then Zapdos. We gotta carry that Zapdos, without a doubt. Because <clears throat> if he ends up knocking out um, Tornados, then I can send out that Zapdos. And then uh, we will have the speed advantage, and then I can Dynamax, and then I can go Knuckle, and you know, all that business. So, I'm gonna try and paralyze him here right away from the get go, though, with the, with the nuzzle. See if, see if that works out. Can y'all see me good? Hopefully, y'all can. So, wheezing Regigigas, we expected this. We knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is, um, let's do a nuzzle over on the Regigigas, and then we'll do the Tailwind to give us the speed advantage. So, he's going to have a couple options here either go after um, Togemaru and knock him out effectively, or is he going to knock out. Uh, Tornadus, and then that way he gets rid of him. Tornadus has many uses, you know. He's really, he's a really uh, strong Pokemon. And um, what is he gonna do? That's the question. What is he gonna do? I don't know. Let's find out. Now, hopefully we win this. Game. It ain't good. Dang. All right, let's see. What are we gonna do? All right. Tell when goes up. Obviously the Wheezing doesn't protect, so he, he's attacking somebody. Who is a question? Nuzzle and Regigigas, he's paralyzed. Half his speed is gone, potential for him to miss his turn. Hopefully he does, I doubt it, we'll see. So, Taunt comes out, a little too late buddy, on the Tornadus. And he's quaking, and I am going down. Due to Sturdy not activating due to the damn neutralizing gas. What are you going to do about it? Okay. That's okay. we still got our Zapdos. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, start doing some damage on that cat. I did want to get that uh, uh, that paralysis going on that Reggie guy. I feel like that would be a pretty effective thing to do. Uh, so I could go for a thunderous kick here in case, because uh, I think regardless he's going to knock us out with uh, what is the ice punch max health storm deal. Um, so I kind of feel like going just thunderous kick and uh, and just getting some damage on him. I feel like that that has to be the move there. Uh, we're going to go with the heat wave uh, to just try and fix damage on both of these uh, guys. Uh, Thunderous Kick comes out, does a good bit of damage, uh, brings down his defense. Not gonna matter if he gets hit though. So, Regigigas uh, looks like it is going down next turn no matter what. Sludge Bomb coming out, onto Tornadus. Uh, we eat. Max Hellstorm though, that's definitely gonna hurt. It's gonna take out Zapdos. We're expecting this. Um, yeah. So, Looks like it's just going to be Tornadus, and it's going to be our um, uh, Nihilator. So, that is no good. That is no good at all. Rough, rough, rough going here. Uh, but sometimes it's just the luck of the draw, guys. You don't know what you're going to get. It could be good. It could be bad. It could be good matchups, bad matchups, whatever. This is a team that has been working for me. It's been working for me for a while. Um, so I just felt like I had to keep uh, trying with it, you know. So let's see. 
All right, let's go with a. Should we go with a hurricane? Up on the wheezing. I think we need to go with a hurricane. Need to get some good damage on on him because he's just being a troll. And uh, of course we miss. So meteor beam. If we don't miss, we got this. If we do miss, guess what? Oh and three. Yeah, not looking good. Not looking good at all. But I think with this, we should be able to knock out the uh, Reggie Gigas, and he goes down. So at least we got the leg up there. Obviously, it didn't work out for us with the Hurricane or the Weezing. Probably should have gone with the Heat Wave. A little bit more accurate, but even then, we could have missed that one as well. Uh, he's going with the Sludge Bomb, Tornadus. Tornadus is going down. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, this is going to be another tough one here. So, we still have our Dynamax that we can do, and obviously, that's going to help a lot. But, uh, it kind of looks like we are definitely... Uh, stuck in a bind here. Uh, doesn't look like we'll be able to uh, do a whole lot. Cinderace is going to come. We should be able to outspeed it. So I am going to Dynamax. Go for a max rock fall on Cinderace. Now, we will knock out that Cinderace. So long as he's not sashed. If he is sashed, then the Sandstorm should uh, knock him out effectively after that. I'm not too worried about the Weezing doing damage to me. Uh, and I do feel that if he had somebody stronger, he would have sent it out on Nihilego already. So if we take out the Cinderace, whoever's left in the back, I do want to say we have a good chance against. Um, and so I want to say we will be standing strong. So thanks to Tailwind, we... Or not. Sucker Punch comes out, does does some damage, but uh, we can we can we eat that. <clears throat> Rockfall coming out. Should be knocking out Cinderace, and it does. And that should give us another boost, so it's going to make it stronger. Um, we're already plus two. So, so long as they don't do anything tricky here. I don't know if that Weezing is going to go for potentially a Will-O-Wisp. And there it is. The Will-O-Wisp does burn me. Going to do some gradual damage, but yeah, I'm not going to care. I'm going to go up against this other guy, whoever he's bringing. It doesn't matter. Unfortunately, our Tailwind does pewter out uh, there, but... Jinx. I think Jinx outspeeds us. But Jinx is a special attacker, so I want to say that even if she does outspeed us and hits us with an, with an ice move, we should be able to eat it. I hope. Yeah, but, well, wishful thinking, right? So let's, uh, let's see if we can tank this. Lovely kiss. It failed. Whew, thank God. Jinx is going down. And uh, we should be able to uh, pick up the knockout. And we don't because she is sashed. But regardless, Sandstorm is there unless Weezing somehow changes the weather, which I doubt it. Sludge Bomb does nothing because uh, Nihilego just eats. And now it's just Nihilego and Weezing. So Weezing, I don't know if he's going to try and probably go for the Protect here. And... Um, reduce my damage output regardless we're up plus two and uh, since I do feel like that is the case I think I want to go with a no I'm not even gonna bother I'm just gonna go for a rock ball I was gonna say I was gonna try and increase my attack a little bit more with the uh, max ooze but I mean what's the point like we're gonna take out wheezing regardless so it doesn't matter I'm just gonna go for the rock ball and even if even if he protects which he obviously he did um, we should be able to knock it out, if not this turn, the next one for sure. So, yeah, he's definitely going down. Yeah. So he does survive that turn, obviously, but he's not hes not going to outspeed us. He doesn't have anything uh, that's going to uh, be strong against us. So, I think we're, we're, we're standing in a pretty good spot in this match. Um, uh, let's go with a power gem, and that should effectively take Mr. Weezing out. And out. Battles canceled. We win. Whew, that was a tough, tough one. Um, not as tough as the other two. I don't know. I'd have to look at the video again, and then I can tell. I can tell you. Oh, okay, for sure. We should have done this different. We should have done that different. Um, but uh, I'm gonna have to look it over again and see um, how it goes. But regardless, um, sometimes you. Uh, Sometimes you, you run into good matchups and then you pick the right moves and you get rolling, you know. 
I've, you've seen me here, you know, I've done three and oh, I've done two and one, um, but sometimes you go one and two. And uh, of course, this is what I'm recording, right? So I can, I choose to, to just, you know, I could easily just say, oh, well, no, I'm going to record. And only if I do two and one or three and oh, then I'm going to post. Well, I'm not going to do that because that's not reality. Uh, so I'm not always going to, um, to post when I, when I battle here because, you know, it's kind of a drag to always be just, you know, um, uh, Carrying my whole setup wherever I'm at. That's that's the good thing about the switch that I could take it anywhere. So if I'm anywhere with internet, I can battle. Um, so anyway, um, I will always post. If I start recording, I'm gonna post regardless. I'm not gonna waste my time recording, and then just because things didn't go our way. I'm anyway. Enough about all that crap. Anyway, we stand at ten thousand five hundred. We did drop about a thousand for when we from when we started the video. Uh, but we're still in good position to uh, to climb up because I do remember uh, last season I ended up I started off at 14.9 and I actually dropped all the way down to like 20,000 I believe so I, I went through a little rough stretch where I kind of kept losing I couldn't find my feet and then uh, I ended up winning and winning and winning and I ended up at 12,200 so uh, just because we're at 10,005 right now it doesn't mean anything we can always uh, come back and potentially um, end up in the top 5,000 which is one of my biggest goals that I wanted to do uh, obviously I can always say yeah I want to end up number one but uh, you know what let's get to 5,000 first in the top 5,000 and then I can talk about uh, you know getting up in the top 2,500 and the top 1,000 and the top 500 and the top 100 it will come I do think we can do it. We've been doing this for a while. We're learning as we go, um, and hopefully we get uh, uh, better matchups down the road. And so, what's most important is that we're having fun with this. I love uh, playing this game. I love playing uh, these battles. Uh, I do think that um, uh, we're doing good, and I hope you guys are learning some from it too. Uh, I did talk to a friend of mine, and he was telling me he started playing Pokemon Store not long ago. And he watches my videos and he gets pretty excited watching him and see what he what he's going to look forward to doing uh, later on. And so I, I feel like a lot of people can get a lot of strategies from this. Um, the Pokemon that I necessarily use aren't necessarily like in the meta, which is the meta is typically like what's what, what is everybody doing? What are the champions? What are they using? And a lot of people try to replicate what the champions are doing. Um, I try to be a little bit off meta you know and like I mentioned before I, I do have a Tornadus uh, and that's pretty common but a lot of the other guys aren't necessarily super common Chandelure is not really used that much Zapdos is not used as much um, Togedemaru I hardly ever seen him so you know there's many different uh, strategies that people use um, nowadays I try to do my own way I try to use people that are not OP and so that way I can say, okay, I won because I knew how to how to battle. I knew exactly how to do it. Not because, oh, well, this is just what the strategy is. And it's just I'm just running through everybody. I, I don't like that. But uh, anyway, so that's just my point of view there. Um, I shouldn't be posting any more uh, this week. It looks like I'm going to be a little busy for the rest of this week. Um, so if you're able to tune in today and watch this video and actually make it this far, <laughs> I really appreciate you. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in, for watching, for liking the video. Uh, if you haven't already, if you want to subscribe, I would I would greatly appreciate that. Um, we're still new. We're still trying to get this thing uh, rolling and going, and, and uh, it's not easy uh, to start getting all these people uh, yet, you know. Um, but the people that have seen it, the comments that I've heard at least, they do enjoy it. They enjoy the content. They enjoy the battles. They enjoy... Uh, you know myself talking which you know I'm a uh, you know I try I, I really do try uh, I need to try a little harder uh, and so believe me I am reviewing my videos uh, every day when I post uh, I watch them and watch them over so that way I can what did I what can I do better what can how do I sound better uh, how can I make a better uh, content overall so you guys are happy 
uh, and keep tuning in and keep coming back. And you know, the last thing I want is you coming in and it's like, ah, I already listened to him and he's whack. And I don't want that. So, any suggestions? More than welcome to leave it in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate any advice. And thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoy the videos. I think next time what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my team all up, all six of them, uh, even Tornadas, even though that that's my dude, that's my guy. But I do want to try something different, and um, I don't want to keep trying the same old, the same Pokemon, Pokemon over and over and over and over and over, and then you guys are gonna get burnt out on them, even though that's my favorite. And mind you, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep using them. It's just not gonna be as much as uh, as I've been, because that's the one main ones that I've been using. So the next time, I promise I'll bring a brand new six, and uh, and we'll give it a shot. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what. Uh, what combinations we can come up with and I'll check out strategies and stuff like that and then we can go forward from there but anyway guys thank you very much as always I appreciate it your boy Falcon here hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one y'all have a good day